Hello, my name is Ken Goodman, creator of the Anxiety Solution Series. Imagine for a moment you're home alone, sitting in front of the television, channel surfing, looking for something interesting to watch. Suddenly, a scary movie pops onto your screen. If you enjoy these types of movies, you might watch. But some people would change the channel immediately, knowing that watching a scary movie could cause them to feel anxious and afraid. A similar process takes place in our imagination in the form of worries about the future and obsessions about the past. You can choose to watch these scary movies in your imagination or not. When you watch them, you feel anxious, just like if you were watching a scary movie. You might experience butterflies in your stomach, difficulty breathing, heart palpitations, muscle tension, lightheadedness, sweating, or any of the other physical symptoms of anxiety. Although some people naturally change the channel if a scary movie pops onto their television, they don't change the channel when a worrisome thought pops into their imagination. People with anxiety tend to dwell on their worries and obsess about unwanted thoughts. Disturbing thoughts can be anything and often begin with what if? What if I have cancer? What if I lose my job? What if always leads to a scary question and if you ask yourself a scary question, you're going to get a scary answer. And if you have anxiety, you might obsess over those scary answers for a long time. That's the difference between people who suffer with anxiety and people who don't. Everyone has scary, weird, violent, sexual, and bizarre thoughts. Those thoughts are normal. But if you don't suffer with anxiety, those thoughts are fleeting and quickly forgotten, vanishing from your mind in less than 10 seconds. This is not the case if you suffer with anxiety. People with anxiety tend to dwell on the thoughts, resulting in shame, worry, and frustration for being unable to stop them. Uh, any situation in which there were multiple possible outcomes, I would immediately visualize the worst possible one and catastrophize every possible thing that would come my way. It got to the state where I worried constantly about the most ridiculous things. I had a feeling of constant worry where I was concerned with what if. So my mind would put in a, a situation, a scenario that I had to go to the doctor and what if he found something wrong and what would I do about work and what would I do about my income and what would I do about you know dealing with just everyday life. So how do you stop unwanted thoughts? Unfortunately, you can't. Thoughts come too quickly, but you can stop dwelling on them. After two and a half months of exploring the Anxiety Solution Series, I'm literally changed from, from the ground up. I, uh, I'm calm. Uh, I fear next to nothing now. Uh, I've regained my joy in life. I'm not constantly worried for no reason. I'm at work, I'm performing better than I think I ever have. Things have transpired at work and I'm caught in the middle of it. I have no control of it, but I'm staying calm about it. The what if worry has really, it's gone. My mind is quiet so I can think clearly and my body is relaxed. In the Anxiety Solution Series, I'll teach you tools and a strategy to end excessive worry and dwelling. Think of it as a remote control for your imagination with a button to turn off unwanted thoughts. By stopping dwelling, you will then be able to calm your mind and relax your body. The Anxiety Solution Series is a step-by-step -step program that provides tools and a strategy for ending panic, worry, compulsions, and fear. You don't have to suffer. There is help. You can find freedom and live the happy, fulfilling life you deserve. Please visit QuietMindSolutions.com and take the first steps. To give you some hope, you can watch videos of former anxiety sufferers share how they conquer their anxiety. You can listen to chapters for free and you can take an anxiety test to assess the severity of your symptoms. Thanks for watching and please share this video with others who might benefit.